Milwaukee police need your help. Family and colleagues of fallen officer Peter Jerving plan to honor him later this year in Washington, D.C. Well, that is if they get the funding. Christina Van Zels is live with how you can help. Yeah, we talked with the Milwaukee Police Association today, and they say that they need those funds by the end of next week. We talked with the president, who says he thinks he has an idea as to why these donations are falling short. I think it means the world of them gives them closure. Milwaukee police officers and family of fallen officer Peter Jerving are gearing up for National Police Week. Jerving was shot and killed in February 2023. He was 37. This is a chance to honor his legacy. It means the world um, to, to see um, the honor that is given uh, these, these fallen officers and know that um, their sacrifice uh, to the community is not forgotten. It's a trip to Washington, D.C., where Jerving's name will be memorialized on a wall. But the Milwaukee Police Association president, Andrew Wagner, says they still need about $10,000. This was the first time that we came short, though, of the goal. Today, a fundraiser held in his So day. far, the MPA says they've raised $90,000. They are scheduled to leave May 11th and hope to get the rest of the money by next week. It's the first time they've been short on funding. Because there have been so many line of duty deaths lately that maybe people, I don't want to say, are burnt out of giving, but... Um, um, that could happen. Wagner says since 2018, five Milwaukee officers died in the line of duty. Before that, it had been 22 years without an officer killed on the job. We don't want it to become like this is a normal thing where officers are being killed in the line of duty. Wagner says they hope to plan another fundraiser before the trip because honoring their fallen is priceless. If you want to donate, we do have an easy link for you on our website, fox6now.com. Just make sure when you click that link that you click Police Week 2024. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. Christina, sometimes people will, will have office competitions, bake sales, maybe schools, maybe just something to do with their home, a, a fun way to fundraise. Did they give any examples or any incentives for people to do things like that to get this money raised? Well, I know they are still trying to plan something before the end of next week. They said they'll keep us posted, but they are planning another fundraiser to try to get that money. And we did uh, previously in February cover a uh, fundraiser at Serb Hall where they raised funds then as well. So we'll, of course, keep you posted when they do have that all scheduled and set up. All right. We'll look forward to that. Christina Venzels reporting live there in Milwaukee. Thank